What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Big Ten football channel. The 2019 schedule for Michigan State wound up being pretty tough when you look at the fact that they had to play Wisconsin in their cross-division matchup. Obviously the top team in the West, uh, so that was not good. And then they played Arizona State, the non-conference, a game that I think most people expected Michigan State to win in the preseason, but you know, playing at home and everything, but they lost that game. Uh, but all in all, the schedule wasn't horrible. They didn't play Minnesota. They didn't play Iowa out of the West, but they, of course, did, again, play Wisconsin. How does this team move on now from the Mark D'Antonio era? That is going to be the, the big story, I guess, of Michigan State heading into 2020. Does the schedule set up? Uh, to where they could still have some success well it's a pretty difficult schedule here it is you see on september the 5th they open up the season with northwestern team that was really down last year it's at home that's definitely a game that michigan state has a chance to win then the next week september 12th it's on the road at byu remember byu beat tennessee early in the year last season this one's on the road going to be a tough matchup toledo in week three september the 19th and then september 26th what we thought you know a couple of years ago, we thought by the time these two, two, two teams met this year, it could be a top 10 matchup, but it just has not gone that way for the Michigan State program or the Miami program. It's a game that probably won't be a top 10 matchup, and it may be a game of, between two teams that aren't even ranked. So how things change quickly in college football, this all of a sudden becomes a, a real intriguing matchup, but not a, a huge game with playoff implications more than likely unless one of these teams winds up you know just really coming out and having a great season uh, but miami michigan state fun match up there in the non-conference they head into october with a road game against iowa did not play iowa last year this year they will play the hawkeyes and that'll be a tough match up there michigan and ohio state back to back that's the bad news. The good news is both of those games are at home. They'll play Michigan on October the 10th, Ohio State on October 17th. Again, very tough uh, back-to-backs there. Indiana going to be a tough matchup, I think. This is a, a team, a program that's really starting to, to build some momentum. It'll be a road game for Michigan State, so uh, that's going to be a tough matchup there. And Then they'll play Minnesota on October 31st on Halloween. So we talked about, you know, last year they played Wisconsin. They avoided Iowa and Minnesota. This year they don't have to play Wisconsin, but they play Minnesota and Iowa. So they'll play Minnesota at home. That is going to be a tough challenge there. I expect the Gophers to be really good this year. Penn State is up next on actually they're going to bye week after Minnesota, and then they'll play Penn State on November 14th. Road game, very difficult matchup there, very tough place to play. They'll play Rutgers on November 21st. This is a home game for Michigan State, and that's a must win. You know, you look at the schedule, and, and I'll just be honest, I think it's going to be tough for this team to make it to a bowl game this season with this schedule, new head coach, new quarterback. I mean, there, there are a lot of a lot of things going on with Michigan State right now, but you got to beat Rutgers. you got to win that game on November 21st, and then a road game against Maryland that closes out on November 28th. That could be a fairly easy win for Michigan State. Maryland was really down last year. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a tough game. It is on the road. Maryland, you know, first-year head coach last year. Maybe they start to turn the corner this year. Who knows how difficult that matchup will be. It was a close game last year. Maryland or Michigan State won 19-16. to uh, So I, I would expect that to be a pretty good game again this year and uh, one that maybe could go either way. But, again, you look over the schedule in the non-conference, you've got BYU, Toledo, and Miami. Very respectable non-conference schedule. Um, BYU, not a Power 5 team, but they are one of the – the top teams that are not in the Power Five. Toledo's a very good group of five team. And then you have Miami, uh, you know, a big name program. Maybe they've been down a little bit, but they might be actually be pretty good this year with the Eric King at quarterback. So three very solid non conference games. And then you look at their conference schedule Minnesota and Iowa out of the West. I think that is, is going to make that schedule pretty tough. Uh, good news again, you don't have to play Wisconsin, but still. Uh, Iowa and Minnesota, I think, will be tough matchups there. And then a lot of games that you could say they'll have a chance to win. Uh, this is a pretty even matchup. Well, they play those games on the road, like Maryland and Indiana. Uh, that could ultimately hurt them, you know, because you're probably not going to beat Michigan or Ohio State. Uh, if you're a team like Michigan State, a team that might be going to struggle this, this upcoming season, 
You'd rather just go ahead and play those games on the road, take your loss, and have a chance to win some of these other games. Might put you in a better spot to make it to a bowl game, but because of the way this schedule sets up, and because you've got a lot of those close swing games on the road, if they're not able to go on the road and win those games, Michigan State could miss out on a bowl game in 2020 uh, with a pretty difficult schedule, both in the non-conference and in the Big Ten.